Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make three whiskey cocktails, and you might ask yourself why. However, I put up a poll this week, and during that poll, I asked you if you'd like whiskey cocktails with whiskey without the E, with the E, or whiskey with way too many E's. And 51% of you chose whiskey. However, every single one of you who voted chose whiskey. And you know what? We got three fantastic whiskey cocktails that we're gonna make right now just for you, so let's get into it. Now this first cocktail comes to us because Kingston Lore asked me, yes sir, I'd like whiskey in my whiskey, and have you done a penicillin? Well, Kingston Lore, I have created a penicillin, and for everybody watching this, I will put the uh, uh, link down in the description down below for you. However, to have a whiskey in whiskey, I took a look at Punch Magazine and I came across this, and her name was Cassandra. Now, it was created originally by Grant Wheeler while he was the bar director at Barbeau in Williamsburg, which is in Brooklyn, New York. Now, I have had to make a couple of minor changes just based on the ingredients that I can get, but you know what? This is going to be really fantastic. So let me talk about the nine ingredients that are in this cocktail. We have some mint leaves. We have a salted honey syrup. We need lemon juice. We need fresh pineapple juice. We need habanero tincture. We need a bottled and bond whiskey. This is a rye whiskey, it's Rittenhouse, and it's uh, 50%. We need some Japanese whiskey. In this case, I'm using Suntory, and this is 43%. The next we're gonna use is a bourbon, and that is 45%. And of course, we also need a peated whiskey, the Laphroaig, which is 43%. And this is very much like the tiki drink of whiskey cocktails. It's got a lot of ingredients, but you know what? We're gonna start by just grabbing a couple of leaves. We're gonna smack them like so, and we're gonna drop them into the glass. We're gonna squeeze half an ounce or 15 milliliters lemon juice. We'll add half an ounce or 15 milliliters pineapple juice, half an ounce or 15 milliliters salted honey syrup. We're then gonna to go to a half an ounce or 15 milliliters bourbon, half an ounce or 15 milliliters Japanese whiskey, then half an ounce or 15 milliliters of a bonded whiskey, and then one bar spoon or five milliliters Peated Scott. Oh yeah, beautiful. This is gonna be good. So the next thing you need to do then is to shake this with a little bit of ice. And what we'll do is we'll fill this up all the way and we'll shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So fill that up nice and solid. Make sure you don't uh, have too much ice in there. Slap that on, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with a strength of a thousand mint leaves. Now what we are going to do is put this into a nice rocks glass. And we're going to use a big solid cube of ice. All right, and make sure you leave this in your shot just so it looks stupid, right? Now what we are going to do is we are going to fine strain this because we want to get all the little chunks of ice and mint leaves out, like so. Oh, oh, oh look at that. That is gorgeous. Now, the way we're gonna finish this off is we're gonna use two things. We're gonna use a mint leaf and we're going to use two dashes of my homemade habanero tincture. So what we'll do is we'll just stick this in here and squeeze them in like so. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. And we're just gonna add the leaf on top like so. And here you have, and her name was Cassandra. Now the second cocktail we're gonna make comes to us all the way from Vancouver Island, British Columbia in Canada. Now it's actually found on a website called The Whiskey Muse and it was created by Reese. And her website's all about whiskey. But the interesting thing about this cocktail is it is a split base cocktail and we're splitting the base between Canadian rye whiskey and silver tequila. So it looks like it's gonna be really, really interesting and good. But we're gonna start with the ingredients that we have. And these are limes for lime juice, some Angostura bitters, we're going to use uh, Terramana Silver Tequila, it's 40% ABV, and the Signal Hill Canadian Whiskey, that's 40% as well. We also need some simple syrup and some ginger beer. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our lime, and what we're gonna do is cut this in half, and then we're gonna squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters lime juice, a third of an ounce or 10 milliliters simple syrup, three to four dashes of Angostura Bitter, one ounce or 30 milliliters silver tequila, one ounce 30 milliliters Canadian rye whiskey. Yeah, look at that. So the next thing we're going to do is attempt to get the cork on because it's a really good, <laughs> strong cork, but we are going to shake this with some ice. So again, we'll shake this for another 
10 to 15 seconds here and slap your lid on top make sure everything's in nice and good flip it and give it a shake yeah pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes now what we are going to do is we are going to build this in a tall collins glass so what we're going to do is just fill this up with some ice and uh you know you could use a pillar use whatever you want whatever you have totally up to you you could even as she suggests if you want especially during the summer is you could put this in a julep cup with crushed ice and it would be fantastic so what you are going to do though is we are going to fine strain this directly on top like so oh this looks good and you can smell the bouquet the flowers everything that comes off this now the next thing you need to do is take a ginger beer and what we'll just do is we will top this with a good three to four ounces which is 90 to 120 milliliters oh look at that it looks gorgeous and this is a sterling silver now the third and final cocktail is called a Braveheart. It was created by Daniel Espinosa during his term at the Tasty Kitchen. And this is a deliberate attempt to create a non-smoky version of the penicillin. And you know what? It's simple, it's only got four ingredients and those start with lemon juice, Angostura bitters, a good blended scotch, in this case I'm using monkey shoulder at um, 43%, and a ginger honey syrup. So let's get started by grabbing your lemon. And what we're going to do is cut this in half and squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters of honey ginger syrup, two dashes of Angostura bitters, two ounces or 60 milliliters of blended scotch. Awesome. Now what we are going to do here is we're going to shake this with some ice. Again, for another 10 to 15 seconds. You know, just fill up your glass like so. Give yourself a couple more cubes just because you can. And what we'll do is we will slap the lid on, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand lemons, like so. Move that off to the side. And what we're going to do is put this into a big rocks glass. Now we are going to grab a big block of ice like so. Beautiful. And what we're now going to do is we are going to fine strain this just to make sure that we have no ice chunks in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is a Braveheart. And here we have three interesting cocktails, all totally different in flavor, but with similarities. Here we have, and her name was Cassandra, the Sterling Silver and the Braveheart. Totally different names, they all look fantastic. However, what I'd like you to do is try them out and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think or what you think should be changed about any of these cocktails. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you'll be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.